There's a lot of controversy about Berkey water filters and their contaminant removal claims. With the help of Simple Lab, we decided to put one to the test and you might be surprised with what we found. Stay tuned, cause it's coming up. Before I jump into the data, I just want to say that this video is not intended to back up Berkey's contaminant removal claims. Our goal was to objectively put the filters through a real life test. Our water samples were taken from just two locations in Colorado and only contained a small set of contaminants each. And because of this, the results are neither comprehensive nor conclusive. For the project, our partner Simple Lab provided us with third-party laboratory testing using their product TapScore. They send you a test kit in the mail, you fill up the collection vials and send it back. Simple Lab handle all of the testing and provide the results in an easy to use online report hosted on their website. The report assigns a tap score from one to 99 with 99 being the best score possible based on the quality of the water sample. It shows what contaminants are present in the water and gives you information about any health risks associated with them. We tested samples of two different types of source water, treated city water from our apartment and untreated pond water from a local park. Our city water has a few contaminants we specifically wanted to test the Berkey's performance for. The water is fluoridated, so we wanted to see how well the PF2 fluoride reduction filters worked. There are also heavy metals including lead present, so of course we were interested to find out how much of these were removed. And finally, we also wanted to see how well the filters dealt with common disinfection byproducts found in most city water. For the city water test, we used both the black Berkey elements and the PF2 fluoride filters. For the untreated pond water test, we really wanted to check the claims that Berkey filters can remove bacteria. We removed the fluoride filters for this one and only used the black Berkey elements. Before starting the project, we primed all the filters following Berkey's instructions, installed them, and performed a red dye test to ensure the system was filtering correctly. And finally, we ran about 50 gallons of water through the system before conducting our tests. In order to ensure the most accurate results from the lab, we followed a strict sampling process. First, we collected the water sample in one large bucket. Next, we swirled it around to get it nice and mixed, and then filled the Berkey directly from the bucket. We took the pre-filtration samples directly from the bucket as well, and then took the post-filtration sample from the Berkey. The city water contaminant removal was excellent, except for one surprising result. In terms of tap scores, the post-Berkey filtration sample actually received a lower score than the unfiltered baseline test. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. This is all due to one specific contaminant that I'll go over with you right now. I've split the city water test results into three contaminant categories, heavy metals, disinfection byproducts, and non-metal inorganics. I wanna start with the heavy metals because this is where we see the anomaly in the data. The unfiltered water test shows that we had no aluminum at all. However, after filtration through the Berkey, we see highly elevated levels of aluminum at 1.44 parts per million. This is alarming considering that the maximum contaminant load for aluminum set by the EPA is only 0.2 ppm. This means that one of the filters was actually adding this heavy metal to our water. Our overall tap score for this test was lower because aluminum can possibly impact both the nervous system and the immune system. Activated alumina is one of the few filter media capable of reducing fluoride in water, so it must be what Berkey is using in their PF2 fluoride reduction filters. That being said, the filters should not be leaching this much aluminum. Leaching from activated alumina depends on the pH of the water with a higher pH causing more potential leaching. The pH of our water sample was only 7.5, so still in the neutral range. This amount of leaching should not be occurring, so this really indicates that there's an issue with these filters. As for the other heavy metals, the lead, copper, barium, and manganese were all completely removed, and the cobalt was reduced by 96%. Do you like seeing water filters put to the test like this? If so, let me know down in the comments what filter you'd like to see us test next. And also, subscribe to our channel so you get a notification next time we upload a video. Moving on, all of the disinfection byproducts were completely removed, which isn't all that surprising. We know one component of the black Berkey filters is activated carbon, which is one of the best methods for removing these types of chemicals and one of the most common media used in water filters. Additionally, test strips show that residual chlorine and free chlorine were also completely removed. Lastly, we have the non-metal inorganics. Most disappointing here is that the fluoride was only reduced by 50%, while Berkey claims that the PF2 filters remove up to 90%. The strontium was completely removed. Now let's talk about the pond water test. The unfiltered sample contained coliform bacteria
bacteria and small amounts of aluminum, iron, and manganese. The total coliform bacteria were completely removed. The presence of coliform is used as an indicator to identify when water is contaminated with human or animal waste. And while most coliform bacteria are harmless, some strains can cause illness. So what does all this data tell us? Well, the PF2 fluoride filters had an issue. I don't know if it was just with the filters that we got or if the issues with all of the PF2 fluoride filters, but either way, it doesn't really matter. We wouldn't have known that there was an issue unless we'd conducted this test. Additionally, the actual fluoride reduction rate fell far short of the claims made by Berkey. If you're trying to get rid of fluoride, I've left links to a couple of better products in the description if you want to check them out. The black Berkey filters are good at removing many heavy metals, including lead, as well as disinfection byproduct. Because our samples were so limited, we were not able to test for every single contaminant that Berkey claims to remove. These data do not provide any filter capacity or lifespan information either. We will need to retest the system filtering hundreds if not thousands more gallons of water through it to verify if Berkey's performance and filter lifespan claims are valid. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information useful. If you enjoyed this video, you can click or tap the screen right now to watch one of our other water filter testing videos.